Hello, so I've just finished recording my Close Shave Live video. If you want to see what happened at the Close Show and what I got, click on the link just there. Um, as I said in that video, if I sound a little bit weird today or I'm sniffling a lot or whatever, coughing, I have actually been ill all week and I've got a horrible cold, so I do apologise for any of that that goes on on this video. Um, as for monthly favourites, monthly favourites, yep. Yeah, I was meant to do it, obviously, at the end of the month, and now we're in, like, the 4th of December. Um, but obviously, because I've been ill, I've been in bed quite a lot and trying to get better, and then obviously I had the clothes show on Saturday, so I've not actually got round to doing it until today, which is a Sunday. But never mind, it's here. Um, we're actually collecting the things together. I realised I didn't really have that many different favourites from um, last month. So, um, but here it goes. So, unfortunately, the things that's made it into my favourites for the last week of November um, is tissues, Kleenex tissues, um, <laughs> strepsils, and Lemsip's cold and flu pills because I'm trying to fight my illness and I must admit the cold and flu pills are really good and the tissues obviously help and the strepsils definitely help with the sore throat. So yeah, they're my uh, remedies. But on to more cheerful favourites. Um, I've actually got a food favourite in this uh, month and it should have probably been there in the last one but oh well. Um, and it is Ben and Jerry's Chunky Monkey Ice Cream. Absolutely love this thing. Um, I always get the little tubs because I don't want to get the big tub in case I just eat it all at once. But um, I just love the banana flavour ice cream and the little chocolate and nut surprises. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, <laughs> Ben and Jerry's Chunky Monkey Ice Cream. Yum. It's actually making me want to get some now for my throat. Might do later. Um, next thing is something that appeared in my last um, monthly favourites, Vaseline for my lips and cocoa butter. Always have to wear this stuff, especially with the cold, my lips get even drier. I've got that on actually now. Um, also, as, I've, as some of you know, I'm a university student and I do um, a primary education, which basically I'm training to be a primary teacher. And um, the end of November I was um, in school for a week and some days and um, basically I really got into wearing this thing which is my watch. Um, I got this from Greece on holiday in July I believe. I can't even remember it's so long ago. <laughs> um, it feels like ages anyway. Um, so yep yeah, I just um, wear that on, on my left wrist and I know what time it is, and I can say, oh, 20 minutes till dinner, and whatever. It's really useful. So, that's that. Um, I'm not really doing this in any order, I do apologise. I'm feeling a bit scatty, my brain's everywhere. I've just finished off my assignment, um, which was like some scrapbook on holistic learning, and took me forever, so that's um, due in tomorrow. So I've just been finishing off that all day which is why I'm a little bit late getting these videos up. Um, next thing, anyway, digress there slightly. Um, it's actually a makeup item, kind of. Um, it's the Lash and Brow Protector, and it's just number sevens, and I've had it absolutely ages, which is why it's like almost used up. I don't think you can see that maybe then. Um, and I use this, obviously, to go over my br brows, but with the um, browsings from Benefit, that I use now. I don't tend to use this for my eyebrows, but I do, however, go over my eyelashes before I put my mascara on because I just feel like it makes the mascara go in much easier. So if you don't, if you've never tried um, this before mascara, then I would recommend it. And a little tip there, it does make mascara um, go in a lot smoother. So I do that quite often. Um, hairspray. The Tresemme um, 
salon finish extra hold hairspray fast drying long lasting hold um, basically love this stuff I just spray it on my fringe basically um, yep lasts me a long time I think I've got about half a bottle left um, I've been using it for a couple of months now um, sorry I keep sniffing <laughs> not feeling too good I'm going to go and get some food soon I'm really hungry <laughs> Um, and then on not such a great note but a good tip if you don't use this already for this purpose ok you want to know what it is um, basically Sudocram the little tube edition skincare cream um, now I when at night um, I'll clean my face and if I've got any spots or blemishes um, I will just dab this on the areas and at the moment it's my chin unfortunately I can't get rid of it and basically it just heals um, spots and it makes the redness go away and if your spots are really red in the morning and you're finding it hard to conceal them um, it's a good tip to put a bit of this on say before you're putting your makeup on so maybe while you have breakfast if you eat breakfast first or I don't know while you're brushing your teeth or something just leave it on for a little while and it takes the redness out so it is actually um, easier to cover with makeup or whatever you use um, so yeah I love this stuff for skin and as you can see I'm nearly out I need to get some more um, I picked up this tip from my sister she always uses Sudocreme um, I don't know how you say it sometimes I say Sudocreme, Sudocreme, Sudocreme I've heard um, yeah whatever how you pronounce it but yeah definitely recommend this for spots it's really useful um, and I think I'm on my last product. So last not last but not least, I can't even think today. Um, is the Nivea Free Time Shower Cream, and as you can see, nearly ran out. Um, and basically, obviously, I've been using this in the shower, and I find it a really nice um, wash, and it's sensitive because I'm quite um, I've got quite a sensitive skin, and I don't get any problems with it. Um, it's got aloe vera in, so it said, let the citrus scent of star fruit revitalise your senses. The silky shower cream with Kirin aloe vera leaves your skin feeling beautifully smooth. Relax and rejuvenate with every shower. So there we go. <laughs> um, I don't know if it quite does all those things, but it's a good um, shower gel slash cream. So yeah, that's what I've been using in my shower. <laughs> um, anyway... So, that is my November favourites. Um, any questions or if you agree with me on any of the products, maybe you like the Chunky Monkey ice cream too. I'd like to know about that if you do, because I'm a little bit obsessed at the minute with it. Uh, I think I have like three backed up in my freezer, so probably going to get some tonight. <laughs> um, it's also, ice cream is good for a sore throat, so that's my excuse. Um, and obviously chocolate is nice as well <laughs> um, yeah so yeah any questions as always leave below and if you want to subscribe click here um, it means a lot and as I said in my last video I've had two people I think subscribe this week so thank you to you it means a lot um, and I'll see you soon bye